Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Brett again. Today is day 11. We're going to work on our Facebook business manager and page setup. So the first thing that I want you to do right now is go to business.facebook.com. Make sure that you're logged in with your personal Facebook account, okay? And now this might change, but at the time of this recording, this is what it looks like, okay? So it should be very similar. Uh, go up there and uh, create an account. Just select that button. Next thing you want to do is enter in your business account name. What I like to do is name a new business account, some kind of agency. Facebook looks it, like they love agencies, right? Because agencies bring on clients, clients spend money in the ads platform. So as a kind of a safety measure, I always think, well, it might be kind of smart to set my stuff up as an agency. Okay. So I just go ahead and put agency ecom and then enter in your name and your email address and then select next. Okay, now you're going to have some business details that you'll add. Your screen will probably look very similar to this. Um, enter your country, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and website details. So enter in your Shopify website if you've got it here. And select the, sl the submit button. And then we can switch right over to a live view. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how this is all done. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Brett. We're going to continue on with our, our Facebook ad account. So right now we've got business manager set up. Uh, if, make sure that you're logged into your profile and access the new business manager account that you just set up. We're going to come over here and we're going to go to business settings and we're going to click on that. Okay. But first you'll notice there's an ad account here. We have not added an ad account yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the next section. So come over here and click on business settings. And when we get here, this is our business manager account setting. So you'll see at the top it loads and it's got people. You can edit this right here. You can change your you can change your first and last name. Doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want to. But the main things that we want to do here is get everything set up so we can start running ads. Okay. So the first thing that I would say is we want to add an ad account. So let's go to ad accounts right here. As you can see, I added this one called Outdoors Station. Just keep on going ahead. Let's uh, hit the Add button here, and you're going to go down to Create New Ad Account. And it's going to pop up. You would name it here, Outdoors Station, or of course, name it what you want to add your ad account. Uh, for your time zone, this GMT7. Uh, you know, I'm located on Central Time, but I've heard from other people that this is the best time. I actually run my ad accounts off of Central Time, and it seems to do just fine. So just put it in your in your actual time zone, and that way when you're tracking data and metrics, you can keep track of it. Uh, currency, USD, dollars, no payment methods available. That's perfectly okay. Let's just call it, uh, like I said, Outdoors station what you would do here is hit the next button and you're literally going to be set up don't worry about the payment method if you want to add a payment method come down here to payments and you can quickly and easily add a credit card now you want to add a business credit card here but if you're just starting and you don't have a business credit card yet uh, put in your personal credit card for now and then you can always switch it over as you get get on with your business but this is a good way to link up your ad account with a credit card and you'll need to do this before you start running ads so um, I would recommend doing that right now hit the cancel button the last thing that we want to do here, um, well, actually two of last things. So we want to set up a Facebook pixel as well so we can actually track data. We're going to hold off in this module, and right now we're just going to create your page. So click on the Pages button, and we're going to add. And if you already have a page, you can link it up right here, but we're going to just pretend that we're creating a new page. So if you're creating a new page, we're going to go ahead and do Brand or Product. Let's see if this is even available. And for your category, call it a website. Create page. Okay, and it looks like we have a page set up. So we're all linked up there. Let me just go back to our business manager here and refresh this. There we can see our pages, which is good. So we've got our ad account here and we've got our pages. Let's click on this. 
Now this is going to be our product page or our first product page where we, or our Facebook page where we start running products. So uh, you'll wanna do uh, certain things here. I'm actually gonna pause the video right now because I wanna make sure that I've got all the resources to show you how to build this page. Uh, so that's it for this video. You've got an ad account set up now. We've got your business manager set up. Uh, you should put your credit card on there so you can start actually charging for ads. And now you should have a Facebook page set up. So this is where you're going to advertise from. Uh, we can change the name of it. We can manipulate the pictures. We can do whatever we need to. Uh, that's all I wanna show you for now. And I will catch you on the next video. Thanks guys. Hey everyone, it's Brett here, and today I want to talk about the Facebook Pixel. Now this is where the magic happens with your Facebook ads. So the Facebook Pixel is how you're going to track all of your customer actions, and it's going to be the main indicator for deciding how we run our ads, what type of ads we run, and we're going to use the data gathered by the Facebook Pixel to make sure that we are doing the right things in marketing. So really exciting uh, very easy to install a lot of people get uh, tripped up with the facebook pixel i'm going to show you how easy it is to install it hey everyone welcome back you'll notice that my ad account has kind of changed a little bit and i've got a couple of pixels here but i'm going to show you how to do this manually okay so what you want to do is come over here and click on pixels and that'll bring you to this page and then i want you to hit the add button don't worry about a website right now, hit create. So we've got another pixel installed. I think you can install up to 100 pixels per ad account, but uh, don't quote me on that. Um, go ahead and hit the setup pixel now. And you're gonna connect with a partner platform, right? So this is gonna tell you more information, but we'll come down here and we click on Shopify. It says you can set on advanced matching. Don't worry about that. Hit continue. Now it's going to tell you, you know, go to your settings, log into your Shopify account and click online store. I am already logged in over here. Hit continue. Now it's going to show you where to add your pixel ID. So it's actually going to give you yours right here. What you want to do is right click that and copy that. I'm just going to keep going through this. So copy that pixel ID, hit continue. Now you're gonna come over to your store, online store, preferences, and then when you scroll down the page, it'll be right here. Paste in that pixel ID, hit save. Now you can enter in a URL. Let's give that a little test. And why we do that is it'll show you if the pixel fired. Now there's also something called the Facebook pixel helper that you can download. And that's also a Chrome extension. Uh, not necessary unless you want to verify that your um, pixel is firing. And I would actually recommend that you should do that just, uh, just for peace of mind and let your pixels firing. But that's really it. Um, our pixel is set up with our typical kind of conversion events. Everything should be good and uh, you're ready to go. Hey everyone, so we are on day 11 and these are your challenge tasks. Okay, so sign up for business manager. Go ahead and create a new ad account. And of course, you'll wanna name that ad account, uh, like I said, maybe as an agency, might be a smart idea, but you can choose to name it whatever you want to. Then you're gonna go ahead and set up a payment method and create a page. Now your page should be directly related to your Shopify store. So I had Outdoor Station, you will do the same with what Ever you designed your Shopify store as. So, if, I mean, if you're um, Aria Mindfulness would be the example, I would create my page as Aria Mindfulness. So just keep that in mind when you do that piece of the challenge, okay? And then the last thing you wanna do is set up and install your Facebook Pixel, okay? Now, the one thing I'll mention is that some of these videos are cut from other videos that I've created before, so don't get too tripped up if things have changed a little bit. The basic kind of settings and the guts of everything are quite simply, they're like the same. So, you know, if there's a little bit of a different look, you can still go to the same areas to add all of these features. 
I wouldn't leave you hanging. Ace wouldn't leave you hanging either. So just go ahead. Uh, training's a little light today. We've we've got a shorter amount of videos. However, um, there is some technical setup here, and I think that's one of the things that trips people up the most is kind of doing some of the technical pieces. So I want to give you guys plenty of time to do these action steps. And the other part of that is we are still in product hunting mode, guys. So you still need to be looking for great products. Um, it's not overnight to find products, so I want to give you guys enough time and a little bit of a break in between these days uh, uh, tasks to actually go out there and find your products. Remember, we want to find four products. And I believe, don't quote me on this, but in day 12, we're going to go back to your actual page that you created. And I'm going to show you how to use Canva to fill it up with, um, you know, kind of a cover photo and to go with the setup of your page. And then we're going to get that rocking too. Okay. So uh, day 12 upcoming, these are your tasks. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to reach out to myself or Ace or, you know, connect with your peers in our Facebook group. All right, guys. Thanks so much much.